acknowledge the praises of the pastors that are here, all branch pastors. The Lord bless you. Evangelist Francis, good to see you, Pastor Shego. God bless you. I can see others where they are sitting at the back or what. Okay, let's continue. Uh, it's been a busy day, but the Lord will give us grace. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. And all the time. Praise the Lord. Well, I need to give my honors that I never gave. I need to give. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just stand with me. And uh, we pray the Holy Spirit gives us more grace. Father, receive our offerings today. In Jesus' precious name. We honor you and we bless you. That when we give, it shall be given back to us. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over, shall men give into our bosom. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 is our foundation scripture. I'll continue with our study. We're looking at the theme of advanced recovery through open doors dash, the mystery of seeking God, the mystery of seeking God. God, hallelujah, hallelujah. We say it in the sticky place, you find God's comfort and peace. We say God should always be first in your life. The Bible says, But without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him in Matthew 6 33 we are told but seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things they shall be added unto you there are things that you don't pursue you must pursue God you see God and things will begin to pursue you things begin to follow you Amen. When you make up your mind to see God, there are things that will begin to follow you. We said first, you seek the kingdom of God and everything else will fall in place for your sake. We said seeking God paves way for great opportunities and appointments. Great opportunities and appointments. Uh, we say that your desire should be to seek God first before you start inquiring about your dreams we said your service to god must come first before anything else when you seek god's kingdom you'll find it seeking the seeking the lord first in your life will attract multiplication and then common favor on you that's what we said we said there's always an addition in seeking god always when you seek him there's addition there's multiplication in your life when you seek the lord first he will reward you with what whatsoever you need amen uh, we looked at when you seek him he will give you the increase the strength you need to embark on your journey fulfillment they that see god in truth do not faint Hallelujah. Look at Jeremiah. Say, That's the reason why I'm here. Because I've been seeking God in truth and in spirit. So I refuse to faint. I refuse to be tired. I refuse to be familiar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't faint along the way because they have God as a present helper and the renewal of their strength. The renewal of your strength is so granted. Is granted. Amen. Hallelujah. The Almighty God makes those who seek Him first mount up. Hallelujah. With wings as eagles, the seekers of God run without being weary because they ride on God's wings. That's what we said. I pray that you can remember some of these things. The seekers of God know how to thank the Almighty. They, uh, they have a good mental and free, a good 
they have still their good mental health, free from worries, fears, crisis, spouse, marriage, job. It is here. We said when your heart and your soul are devoted to seeking the Lord, you hear him. He will hear your cry and he will restore you. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray, seek my first, turn away from the wicked ways. He says, I'll hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, God will hear your cry when you seek him. Hallelujah. In seeking God, there's always con con conviction. When you're in his presence and you go off your seeking God, he will always convict you and he brings you on the right path. Amen. Seekers of God don't walk in bitterness. They release and they move on. They forgive and they move on. I hear the amen. Is it Pastor Muzumara? Where is he? Okay. There's a chair for you, sir. <laughs> the shepherd who always knows the voice of the sheep also. <laughs> okay. Praise the Lord. Good to see you, sir. Please, you can move forward if you your wife. Seekers of God, we said seekers of God attracts God's attention for divine intervention. You remember this statement, huh? We said seekers of God first, God, seekers of God first. First what? Write it down. The seekers of God first attract God's attention for divine Seekers of God's first attract God's attention for divine intervention. You cannot seek God in vain. You cannot seek in vain. He will always manifest himself to his seekers. Hallelujah. In the book of Acts 27, 17, 27, we said God did this so that they could seek him perhaps reach out for him and find him though he's not far from any of us he's not far hallelujah let's continue take your seat with the shout of the king you know the kingdom of god is like a treasure hidden in a field when a man found it he says he hid it again and then his joy went with in his joy, he went and sold all he had and bought that field. Amen. The kingdom of God is like a treasure hidden in a field. Matthew chapter 13, 44. When a man found it, he hid it again and went in his joy, went out with his joy and sold all he had bought. And he bought the field, sorry. Valuable things are in God's kingdom. Valuable things are in God's kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, when we come in his house, we don't come to waste our time. There are valuable things that you're going to get in his presence. Hallelujah. You can only access hidden treasures from God by the virtue of seeking him. By the virtue of seeking him. There are things that you just be made manifest to you as a businessman, as a man of God, as a believer, when you decide to turn in his presence and seek his first. There are things that the Lord will begin to reveal to you. This direction that comes in spending time with him. You can only access hidden treasures from God by the virtue of seeking him. So for you to get valuable things, you must practice the art of seeking God first. It's the art of seeking God first. Hallelujah, somebody. Look at your said, learn the art of seeking God. Learn the art of seeking God. Hallelujah. The almighty God 
is a talking God. He always wants to communicate with you. As you communicate, he wants to speak to you. If you're a single person, he can direct you or lead you into what is not, you know, why, why, why you, why, there are times when as single people, we are in a hurry because you didn't seek him. You enter into a relationship while you begin to regret. And uh, before you know, if you make a mistake, it, your life is wasted. You get into something that you regret. A marriage that makes you an intercessor. You become to intercede for your spouse, your spouse. Instead of interceding for souls to be saved. You spend time praying for your partner. You are making a wrong choice because you didn't see God. You, you, when he was communicating, you never heard him. You were in a hurry, invested in the wrong business. You chose a, a wrong career, chose wrong friends, responded to your wrong thing. And now you are, you are regretting because you, in, in your communication with God or talking to God, you never heard him. You heard yourself. I pray for somebody after today. You will never hear yourself. Jesus Christ was praying, and the Bible tells me the heavens were open, and Father God communicated to him. He said, This is my son, in him I'm all pleased. And what we see, because the ears were open, and he heard the voice of the Lord. He knew that now the Lord was leading him in the wilderness. He never led himself there. The Bible tells me he was driven. So he heard the voice of the Spirit. That it's time to go in the wilderness. Not in a five-star hotel. The Holy Ghost laid him in the wilderness. No one wants to be in the wilderness. It's not a pleasant place to be. It's not a good place to be. There are snakes there. There's heat there. There's no water there. There's so much. And you, you, you go through some discomfort. But the Holy Spirit laid the Son of God in the wilderness. You're there for 40 days and 40 nights because he was communicating with God. And God talked to his children. So talking to God is a moment in time. It, Talking to God's story is a special moment in time because you hear his mind concerning your, concerning any matter. So Jesus here is led by the Spirit and God is with him in the wilderness. Other version says and the angels were ministering to him in the wilderness. Ladies and gentlemen, God will get to your business when you get to his business. When you are busy with his business, you come to your business and you help you in your business. When you get busy with God, he gets busy with you. You don't live a life of regret. You are always excited about what you are doing. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I, I gave you an example of some few months ago, almost a year now, where we are so excited about this young man who came with a proposal and we are, and the guy presented the proposal a business whatever got excited he said to seeking god first we are excited and we just jumped into this thing and uh, sometimes women are sensitive us men sometimes you know we get a bit excited but all in all we went on and the three months has turned it into one year now almost one year i decree and i declare the mistake i make you never make it in jesus name <laughs> hello somebody look at you and say don't get excited with some business opportunities that come your way without seeking god if God is not in that matter, you will struggle, you regret. I make a decree in the season of seeking God. You will never miss your target. You will never miss your opportunity. You will never live your life of regret. Somebody shout, I hear you. Somebody shout, I hear you. So when you talk to him, he will be on your matter. He will direct you. He will guide you. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, if you don't love somebody, you don't spend time with them. You don't communicate with them. You don't want to talk to them for a long time. The person you love, you communicate with that person. You want to be with them. You want to spend time with them. That's the reason why 
Many a times before we go to bed, you want to spend time with him. When you wake up, you want to spend time with him because you love him. You want him to speak to you. You want him to direct you. Amen. Hallelujah. First, first, be a lover of God. First, be a lover of God. Shout, I'm a lover of God. Shout, I'm a lover of God. First, be a lover of God, and then you, are, you will learn and understand the art of communicating with Him. If you're a lover of God, you will learn the art of communicating with Him through prayer. When you make Him number one, before you jump into any business, I repeat, you will see God. Amen. You just say, Lord, I need direction concerning this matter or this thing I want to do. I want you to direct me. God will give you whatsoever you need when you love and pant after him. Pant after him. And the psalmist says, as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs for you. Amen, somebody. They that know how to love God very well are romantic. I'm telling you, if you love God, it's easy to love your wife. Okay, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, even if I call manje. But as a young man, you should love God also, so that in the time of your glory, you'll be romantic. Lord, I love you. Lord, I... You know, when you love him, it will be very easy to love people around you and to love your partner. Look at your neighbor, say, I'm a lover of God and I'm a lover of people and I hate the devil and his uh, wickedness. Hallelujah. When you love God, you don't entertain strife in your life. Strife will close your heaven. Christ strife will dry up your spirit or dry up your bones. Lift your hands and shout, I'm a lover of God. I will love him. Shout, I will love him with all my soul, with all my being, with my spirit. I will love God as long as I live. When you love him, you love God's people. Yes, they may offend you, but you still love them. You still pray for them. You still wish them well. There are many people today when you offend them, they call fire on you. They want you dead. They want you to suffer. Now look at your neighbor. Say neighbor, love God's people, but punish the devil. Love God's people, but deal with the spirits that are using them to abuse you, to mistreat you, to torment you. Love the people, but deal with the spirit that is using them to abuse you. I must go to the cross, but Peter says, you cannot die. They are going to protect you. He says, Satan, get behind me. You are the enemy of the things of the Lord. I came to prophesy that in this season you shall love God and his people and you're going to align yourself to the will of God not the will of man you'll hear a voice of God in the man and not the voice of the devil because you communicate with him you spend time with him you know his voice When you take a hold of the holes of the altar and spend time with God and love Him and worship Him, when somebody comes and begins to speak to you, you will be able to say that this is not the voice of God in this manner. This is the voice of the devil. It's the voice of man. There is no God in this matter. Father, open our ears again that you may hear your voice. Open our ears again that you may hear what you are saying, how you are leading us, how you are directing us. Open our ears that you may align 
ourselves up to your will so that we may love you and love the people and the romantic again in the name that's above the name I pray every power that has closed your ears I pray every power that has come to disposition you from the place of worship from the place of prayer why well, don't hear God anymore I need to hear God for Shalom Embassy for the next five years for the next ten years I need to hear God for Shalom Embassy for standing the gap in the next few years you need to hear God concerning your business concerning your job you need to hear God so that you may not live a life of regret Lord let me hear you in my career in my business Lord let me hear you do you want you to divert or maybe stay in the same business want me to close or open another business want me to leave Zambia or want me to move to another country oh God open my ears that I may hear what you are saying concerning my life concerning my ministry concerning my business here I want you to speak to me again and I want to hear you again from the place of prayer and he goes into Gethsemane and he begins to pray he's not really sure but what is coming ahead but he begins to pray again and he says Lord I can see what is coming but I don't know this, whether it is true I have to go through it if it is possible take the cup away from me neither the least not my will but your will be done if I have to go through it let me go through it not my will but your will be done in my life it may be painful but let me go through it the people may run away from me but let me go through it the Roman nails may go through my hands may go through my feet but let me go through it people may reject me but let me go through it the Lord what they teach me teach me more about people around me. Let me go through it. If you want me to learn who, who these people are around me when they reject me, they gossip me. Lord, if you want me to go through it, let me go through it. If you want me to go through the prison, let me go through it. Through the pit, let me go through it. If God, you want me to go through rejection for the sake of my elevation, for the sake of my promotion, that I may not put my trust in man but in you let me go through it shake your neighbor say neighbor sometimes in the computer I'm much happy watch about the computer much happy the good news is uh, you are not staying in that situation uh, you are just passing through the waters uh, you are just passing through the fire you won't be swept by the waters uh, you won't be consumed uh, by the fire so let me go through it uh, that you may mold me and make me to be a better person uh, somebody shout hallelujah look at your neighbor say neighbor the people who love God, they don't break easily. They don't give up easily. The lovers of God, they don't break easily. They are in love with God. So they hold on to Him. When you love somebody, you hold on that person. That's the reason why you can see a wife who's being abused, but somehow she's being abused, but she loves this man. This man abuses her. This man beats her, but she's holding on to this man. It's not because of anything it's because of love you may insult me for God I will love my God you may call me name for my God I will love him you can abandon me you can leave me alone but I will still hold on to my God you may call me names I will still hold on to my God you may leave me I am a seeker of God I am in love with God I will still hold on to my God you may call me a witch, a wizard, I still hold on to my God. I'll never leave him. I'll hold on 
he is a friend who sticks closer than a brother you may not come for my meeting I will hold on to my God where I do all three are gathered there I am in the midst of them oh Lord I know you are here they may not come but I know you are here they may not be with me but I know you are here you are Emmanuel God with us now reveal to me you never leave me nor forsake me you are afraid or oh, stick closer than a brother I know you are always with me I'm a seeker of God I choose to seek your face I choose to honor you I choose to love you oh, I'm fear I'll ask of the Lord is that I may dwell in his presence that I may be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord all I want is Yahweh all I want is Elohim when others are throwing in a towel I choose to hold on to him when others are giving up I choose to hold on to him when others are giving up on Samia I choose to hold on to God and to pray to God for divine intervention in the nation of Zambia when others are saying negative things I see God at work in my nation I see God scattering every enemy I see God bring alignment to the nation I am the seeker of God when you seek him he shows up when you seek him he shows up when you seek him he shows up when you seek him, he shows up. That's the reason why he prayed and travailed until the angel appeared. Shakapaya Talamaya, Shantos Apaya. He's a reward of those who diligently seek him. I will seek him until I'm rewarded. I'll seek him until I find him. I'll seek him until I become more like him. Shande kendo koma kandere sara. Hoseda mayanda na baserera. I decree and I declare every enemy that came up to worship life your prayer life and disconnected you from your God I rebuke that enemy I rebuke that power I set that devil on fire every power that was assigned to scatter the sons and daughters of Shalom Embassy to hold on to the altar of nothing missing and nothing broken but there I came with the oil to confront every power to let go of the sons and daughters of Shalom Embassy they are coming back to the altar of worship they are coming back to the altar of worship ladies and gentlemen people must run back to the altar they must run back to the altar they must run back to the altar there are many people today who have decided to look to man who have decided to make decisions that are making them to regret they never see God today I reconnect you to the altar of seeking God. I reconnect you to the altar of seeking God. I reconnect you to the altar of seeking God. I reconnect you to the altar of seeking God. My seal will never die out. My passion will never die out. I'll seek him as long as I live. I want to seek God again for the revival of some for the healing of Zambia, for the breakthrough of Zambia. I want to see God again and power may flow in my life. Healing may flow in my life. I'll be found by those who diligently seek him. Lord, I want to find you. I want to see exploits. I want to see power. I want to see glory again. Shanda Gando Salele You can talk on Makatele Paya You can take on the Paya Daya You can take 
power that disconnected you from the order of prayer from the order of worship I rebuke it in the name of Jesus every power that was assigned to scatter the church to scatter the house of the Lord I rebuke it 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 I rebuke every power Shakuya Nagasaya Taya he can tell them as a potoya. He can tell them as a potoya. He can tell them as a potoya. He can call Payaya. I address spirits, I address powers that we assign to disconnect people from the order of nothing missing, nothing broken. I rebuke powers that came to discourage people from the order. Of nothing missing, nothing broken. I address spirits, I address demons, satanic powers, weapon powers. Today I address them, I address them to let go of the altar of your mercy. Father, draw them to your share that they may seek you again, O Lord. Draw them to yourself. That they may seek you again, O Lord. Draw them to yourself. That they may seek you again, Lord. Draw them to yourself. Shabbat door Sapaya. He can go Sapaya. He can go Zelero. Lord, I pray today that you're going to raise the men and women that have put their heart to seek you, to seek you, to seek you. Men and women are going to come to church not because they want a car, they want a house, they want a miracle, they want a baby, they want a life partner, but men and women who come to church because they want to know more of you and the power of your resurrection. Men who come to seek you, to seek you, to know you, to seek you, to know you, not because I want a car, so I'm coming to church. I want a house. No, Lord, I want to seek your face. I want to know you more. I want to know you more. I want to know you more. Oh. Take me back to the place of worship.